you talked about Tibbs. Tibbs was our USA basketball, uh, <laughs> one of the assistants. He did the defense, obviously. Yeah. But but love Tibbs. Tibbs was funny, man. Like we, you know, we got the All Star USA team, and he's still like drilling us, like we yeah. shit in training camp trying to make a team or some shit. Like, right. Tibbs, dog, we <laughs> chill out. That's the best right here, dog. Like you doing too much, You're right? But I love Tibbs. I had an uh, unbelievable experience and relationship with Tibbs. Like how 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 is how how is your relationship like how how is tips yeah. for you in, in New York? We related off the bat just because we both workers. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if y'all hear about like Tibbs, but like Tibbs be in the office all day, bro. I hear that, he's a hard worker. Yeah, so it's like, bro, you can't be watching that much basketball, dog. <laughs> like, why are you here all day? But like Tibbs <laughs> really be in the office all day. Mm -hmm. And I'm like the type of dude that, you know, practice and then I'm coming back at night and like I'm coming back at night, he's still there. So like, he just like, I think he appreciated that about me and I, I appreciate that about him. Like, you know, he willing to put in the work. So I think uh, like off the bat, like we hit it off in that aspect of our relationship. And then, um, like I said, bro, like he just, uh, he the type of dude that like, you know what to expect, like every day, like, you know, what what's the expectation <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I, I think that that creates accountability, you know, within our teams. So. Mm -hmm. One of the running jokes when we was with USA because he was so on it, dog, they'd be like, yo, Tibbs, give it a break. <laughs> <laughs> we still say that, bro. <laughs> we, live it, we live it every day. <laughs> Kill us with that. We yo, Tibbs, it every day. give it a break, dog. Nah, Tibbs, bro, that he can't help us. Hilarious. He can't help himself, bro. <laughs> he cannot help himself. That should be funny, bro. Be so funny. you guys, uh, you just finished your first season playing alongside with Jalen Brunson, someone who also – uh, could have won the most improved player award in their first season with the Knicks. But when you knew that he was coming over to the Knicks, how early did you guys connect once he did decide to sign in New York? Like right after he had signed, um, he, uh, we had talked like FaceTime and stuff and he was just like amazed. Like he couldn't believe it, like that he was coming there to play and, you know, he was just excited about the opportunity. But I don't know, maybe it's just something about lefties. But as soon as we got on the court, bro, like, I can speak for me. You know, hopefully he said the same. But he just made the game a million times easier for me. A million times. Like, I didn't have to work to every <clears throat> single time down the possession. And, P, you know how that is, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, when you got to go get it every single possession. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you on the other end, too. Like, you got to go both guard ends, both right. ends. Mm -hmm. But JB just made – he made the game so much easier. Uh and I, had, I, I wasn't relied on every single possession to, to make plays. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, that, and that trust, just trust each other out there. Yeah. Was that was that was that quick? Like, cause it was y'all at one. a point. Y'all was at a point where y'all was a top pick and roll combo. It was it was day one. I don't know if it's about like a lefty thing. Yeah. But like we just know <laughs> just chemistry. What we kick. trying to get to, yeah. and like we know how to help each other out. And in those situations, it was just like instantly like chemistry. Mm -hmm. And and the crazy thing about it is like we can get a lot better, bro. Mm -hmm. We can get a lot better. Right. Yeah, I only one year in. Yeah, so it's like I'm excited to see how I keep going. Mm -hmm. I like that. Now, uh, Joe. <laughs> what we got? <laughs> you know how you <laughs> go. Yeah. Now we both don't work with some legends. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> I don't work with some legends on the screen, Forrest Whitaker, Samuel Jackson, mm. but I never played with a living legend on a basketball court, and I probably won't. But uh, <laughs> I want to go somewhere because you playing with a living legend who gets a lot of love. Yeah, and he goes by the name of Derrick Rose. Right. Yeah. How is it to have this man on your team and to play with him and just just get advice and just. He's a, a future. He's a he's he was a, a past MVP, man. It's like, like how is that having Derrick Rose on your squad? Uh, it's great, man. He got no ego, but I think more than anything, he got like a great perspective on life because mm -hmm. he's been to the top of the mountain and he done seen the worst of the worst. Mm -hmm. You know, at least when it comes to basketball, mm -hmm. you know, I can speak for that. So, uh, to have him, you can you to have somebody like that. Uh, and then to be where he's at now and to be able to come back and, uh, you know, play and have the presence that he has, uh, you could just imagine what type of person he is, right? Mm -hmm. So he's just a steady 
a steady person. He never had too high. He never too low. And for me, I need somebody like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I play with passion. You right. know what I mean? I play right. with, you know, sometimes my emotions get the best of me. All right, thumbs right. down. We know. We <laughs> right, know. Thumbs down. <laughs> right. uh, we my, know. My emotions will get the best of me. But to have somebody like that, like, D ain't even got to say nothing, bro. And I can look on the bench and I already know what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So whether it's good or bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then he's he's like Kawhi in that sense that you say, like, he don't say much. But if he say something, it's everybody's listening. Right. So uh, to have that, that dude in the locker room, bro, is – it's uh it's great. And he was my that first year Tibbs came, he had came and he was one of the players that like I started to learn how to make the game easy for myself. Mm-hmm. He used to make the game so easy for me. Mm-hmm. And he could still hoop, so yeah. Yeah, these these He still uh, he still D-O. got something to tank. He got, bro. Yeah. yeah. He can still play. I wish they would have played him a little bit more in the in the in the uh playoff. But you trying to yeah. get me in trouble, bro? Yeah. I, know, I know, I know. I know. Nah, shout out shout out Pooh, man. Yeah, shout um out Give us, cause he is a quiet guy. He yeah. he is a, a dude that you know, no social media or that that I know of, or at least he's not on social media. Um, you don't really hear much about him. Like, what's you got any backstories? Any with practice, with traveling, funny stories, locker room? Cause I just know him. From we got him out of his credit to JB Jalen, bro. He got him out of show a little bit this okay. year, so he started cracking jokes and stuff. But like, bro, D, bro, when I say he like literally the most. Even kill person, bro. This dude, he read books, he drink his wine. I say he got his money taken in a dice game on the plane. Yeah. And he never came back. <laughs> <laughs> he know about that story. We took his bread. He never came back. <laughs> Other than that, bro, he be chilling, bro. He be with his family, he be with his kids, bro. He just like that's how I am. Yeah, you know what I mean. So he really be laid back. All right, Jackie, it's kind of sad, but the NBA season is done. But that doesn't mean that prize picks is done. What's the next sport that you're going to be making some money on? Golf, baby. You know, I'm all up into that. <laughs> Look, the U.S. Open was in Los Angeles this past week. And my guys, John Rahm and Brooks got me up big time, baby. But wait, wait, I'm too hyper. Let the people know what prize picks is. So prize picks is a daily fantasy app. You pick two to six players like the video on your screen then you pick if they will have more or less than their prize picks projection you aren't competing against other people it's just you versus the projections available look i know how much i won but tell the people on prize picks how much they can win dallas so you guys can win up to 25 times your money on any entry and on top of that all first time users that deposit and use our promo code podcast p will receive a hundred percent instant deposit match up to a hundred dollars. That means if you deposit twenty dollars, Prize Picks will give you twenty dollars. If you deposit one hundred dollars, Prize Picks will give you one hundred dollars. And y'all already know what time it is. Cha-ching! Cha-ching!